Do you ever wonder why you don't have a fiber internet connection? Installing fiber is expensive and time consuming. Look at the scale of the machines required to dig through the concrete and bury the cables. For underground service, it all starts with the utilities marking out where their underground services are so the crews don't accidentally dig into a gas line. A saw slowly cuts a path through the asphalt and concrete. This tractor also tows a large vacuum truck that sucks up all the debris removed by the saw. After the trench is cut, they verify that it's eight inches deep. Then they pressure wash out all the remaining dirt and vacuum it all out with this big vacuum unit. Dirt and concrete are removed from the sidewalk to make room for the street vaults. They need to be careful digging. That's a three inch water line right there. On the sidewalk, they pour concrete around this other newly installed wire vault. When the trench is ready, polyethylene tubes are unspooled and laid into it. The seven millimeter tube is for a single fiber that serves one household and the larger 18 millimeter conduit is for a large cable holding hundreds of fibers that travel from the street vault to the street cabinet. At the curb, a large utility vault is buried in the ground. Here, the large tubes that carry bundles of fibers can be spliced and passed to the smaller individual tubes that lead to each house or apartment complex. Every fiber network is unique. If they need to connect two tubes, they use these waterproof splices that hold the tubes together. The 18 millimeter tube looks smooth, but actually has little ridges on its surface. This allows the cables to quickly pass through with little resistance. With all the tubes in place, the sand is poured on top to a depth of eight inches. The trench gap is filled with grout along its path. A large truck is close by to make the custom grout mix as needed for the crew. In some cases, the trench is not a straight line and must go around obstacles in the road. A two-part elastomeric sealant is poured over the cured grout and black silica is sprinkled over the wet sealant to further protect it and blend it in with the surrounding asphalt. So we have this big network of tubes, but how do we get the cables into the tubes? This machine here pushes the cables with a motor and about 20 PSI of compressed air. The rubber plug is attached to the cable end and inserted to the end of the tube. When sealed, the air pressure and the motorized wheel pushes the cable along. This run right here was about 3,000 feet. Periodically, there needs to be a distribution hub for the network. These two cabinets are about a half a mile apart. Here, a single fiber coming in from the vault can be optically split to feed 24 other fibers. Here, a technician is plugging the white cable in to send a test signal to another technician a few blocks away to test the assigned port. From here, the assigned fibers are sent through the larger tube back to the splice closure in the street vault. The larger cable has 144 fibers, 12 color-coded tubes, each one carrying 12 color-coded glass fibers. Glass optical fibers are very thin. For reference, here's a human hair, and below it is an optical fiber. Here, each individual fiber is spliced and sent to the household. It starts with removing the outer insulation and wiping off each of the fibers. This part of the machine strips off the insulation. This part here makes a nice clean cut. And this part fuses the two ends together. He carefully lines up the fiber and a plasma arc fuses them together. Here, the machine is fusing 12 different fibers all at the same time. When he's done, a clear piece of heat shrink is added to protect the joint. From the vault, these individual fibers make their way through these smaller 7 millimeter tubes to the curb. Each tube holds a single fiber for a customer like this one. From the curb, they have trenched up to this point. This is the optical network terminal. Here, the technician makes one final splice to the fiber. Here he's fusing on the connector at the customer's house. Now the customer has access to reliable high-speed internet. So they're done with this job and they're on to the next job. Thanks for watching.